Hey, what's going on guys? This is Keo Daikin, and I wanted to bring you guys an exciting update. The Raspberry Pi Foundation finally released a long rumored eight gigabyte Raspberry Pi 4, now, now available at $75. Now this unit has all the same features that you guys know and love as far as 4K, 4K 60, USB 3.0, USB 2.0, and all the Wi-Fi capabilities that you guys are already familiar with. However, they are also releasing a first time and uh, first time only for the Raspberry Pi Foundation, a 64-bit OS with OpenGL. Apparently, they were doing a lot of tests with OpenGL, Vulkan, and other variants and right now and, and whatnot. But as you guys know, the Raspberry Pi 4 has almost been out for a year. It originally it originally launched with a one gigabyte, two gigabyte, and four gigabyte variants. I know they recently dropped their prices on the two gigabyte and four uh, gigabyte variants. The one gigabyte model, however, was discontinued. Uh, yeah, was discontinued. Now, you will be able to get this at all your local shops like Micro Center, Connecticut, and so forth. Current companies are uh, also taking orders right now. So you guys will finally be able to take advantage of all of the features with this. Now, right now, there's only about two, maybe three 64-bit uh, operating systems with this, including Ubuntu and Gentoo. But remember, guys, I did several videos on this several months ago. Yes, the Supreme team uh, came up with a 64-bit operating system. You guys can see that in my video playlist. And also, if you guys are using this for retro gaming, uh, personally, I don't see a lot of this being used for retro gaming still as far as improvements. Uh, one of the things for retro gaming is the processing speed and not the amount of memory but you will get a little bit of enhancements and things of that nature on the operating system end. Now, for those of you who already have the Wolfenos or the Supreme Pro image or the Supreme Pro build, yes, if you go to the desktop, there is already a 64-bit operating system already in there. And yes, you can run Sega Saturn games on it. Check my videos out. I've already done it. But guys, just wanted to give you guys this quick update. Remember, this device is going to go for $75. I'm planning on ordering one, but I'm still debating on whether if I should just get it online or just go to Micro Center and grab one. Uh, let me know your thoughts, comment below. Just wanted to bring you guys this update uh, and keep you posted. Hope you got hope to hear from you guys soon. Catch you later, and I will catch you next time.